Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a quick one. I'm going to ask the developers to watch the video um, and maybe they'll take some of these ideas. So just very briefly, um, offline raiding is a very common thing in this genre of game. I think Citadel, um, they don't have enough mechanics going on to help with the offline raiding. And even though I'm on the receiving end of that, that's not particularly why I say that. I say it because it's a huge issue and when people complain about the game, this is one of the most commonly thing common things we see people complain about. So here are my ideas. I have many years in games similar to this and this genre. Um, like a lot of ARK players that came over, I played ARK for a very long time. I've maybe offlined like five bases. It's not fun to me, but whatever. Some people like it. And so that's why I think that there should not be offline raid prevention. Um, just because when you introduce something like offline raid prevention, it does take the edge out of the game. You don't play as often and you're not, it, it's just not as fun. Um, and also, you know, if there was an offline raid prevention, I think it should be an option for probably private servers, but not official. Um, but what we can do is have an offline raiding timer. And before you freak out, what, what I mean by this is once the last person in a house logs out for the night, 10 minutes after that, their base basically becomes invulnerable to normal siege damage spells unless there is a raider's stone present. Um, and what that's going to do is make the people who are trying to offline your base or just raid your base in general invest a little bit more in raiding your base. So they actually have to set up the fob, wait for the Raider Stone to go. It's going to slow down a lot of bases getting wiped. Um, and I think that it's going to create more PvP because that's the problem with this game. There's a lot of lack of PvP. It's a lot of people getting waking up to not having a base and it's happening across the board. And not enough people actually fighting over things. So with that... You know, the Raider Stone takes eight hours to activate, which is a great thing because if you, you can see it on the map, no matter where, where it's placed, you can see that it's activating. Um, and so if someone starts a Raider Stone at four o'clock in the afternoon, you can see that and you can plan for it. Eight hours later, you know that whatever is within the dome of the sphere of influence, you know, they're going to be able to raid. Um, the next thing which I think should be implemented, regardless of if any of my other ideas are used, is there needs to be a cooldown on how often you can cast, or any individual can cast a siege damage spell. People are putting siege damage on multiple spell slots and basically just constantly casting siege damage. And when you get five people doing that, it doesn't matter what your build is or how many reformation stones you have. They're breaking through a structure and then they're just going to keep breaking through until they get somewhere within your base um, that has either a throne or whatever they're trying to get to. Um, and so with that cooldown, you know, they can cast their siege damage spell. Maybe it's like five seconds, and then they can cast another one instead of being able to cast five siege damage spells in five seconds. Um, the next thing I think is just for general gameplay balancing. Um, you can probably see it in this video quite a bit, but if you get a group of people together and they're all casting the AoE heal, which is AoE to um, light essence, it makes your group pretty much invulnerable. Um, you can heal through anything and, and it's the same thing with raiding. So let's say you have five people raiding a base, three people are healing the group, two or three, maybe the third person is switching off between healing and sieging, and then the other two people are just casting siege, siege, siege. Firstly, your group is not going to have to move because you're able to heal through max level warding obelisk, you know, sphere of influence, max level turrets. Even on top of that, if someone's casting spells on you, you can heal through that with this stacking concept of stacking multiple AoE heals. Um, so I think that there needs to be a cap on how much healing you can receive in a set amount of time from spells. And that can be separate from potions because obviously potions have cooldowns. So even if you had multiple healing potions equipped, um, they still have cooldowns. And so it just needs to be, you know, people don't need to be invulnerable. Like turrets and defenses need to be able to kill people versus them just sitting there and healing through it. Um, so those are my main ideas. I don't think anything is too broken. I think you could implement all of those things um, and raiding is still going to happen. But really, you know, we need something to make PvP more of a thing in this game. 
instead of just offline raiding because offline raiding is the most common type of quote unquote PVP, which I've told you before. It's not really PVP, it's PVE because there's no player involved on the receiving end of the offline raid. Um, and so to me, it's important that you know people don't get discouraged because we do have this problem. Regardless, you know, and a lot of the people who are doing the offline rating would disagree. Um, but of course they are because they're the ones that are crippling these servers by offline rating everyone before they can get built up. If you guys have more ideas, post them below. Um, I love to hear collaboration. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, um, support the game, support the developers, and uh, hopefully this game will be something truly special that we can play um, in the long run.